Under the evening. Under the evening. Under the motherfucking evening. Uh, we about to get this shit. Um, a quib to lead. You fucked up. Deadly shooting of a youth football coach during a game in Texas. Former NFL star Akeem Tlaib, whose brother is charged with firing the fatal shots, has now been implicated by witnesses in the events that led to that shooting. Marcus Moore is in Texas this morning. Marcus, good morning. Gio, good morning. This horrific has unfolded on a field just behind me here in Texas, and it was supposed to be a simple game between nine-year-old kids, but it turned deadly. And this morning we are seeing new video of what happened. Uh-oh, my dude got a stick. These new images this morning may offer clarity into the chaos that gripped the football field in Texas, where a youth coach was killed during a game. According to ABC yeah. affiliate WFAA, multiple witnesses say it was instigated by former NFL star Akeem Tlaib, who they say was arguing on the field. The dramatic video captured the intense moments. Lancaster, Texas police said the incident started with an argument between coaches and the game's officiating crew, and that led to the physical altercation between the coaches. Akeem allegedly punching a coach from the opposing team, Mike Hickman. The incident ending, police say, with Akeem's brother, Yakub Talib, pulling out a gun and opening fire. 43-year-old Mike Why Hickman suffered multiple gunshot wounds. Hold on, man. I did a motherfucking evening. You had a youth football game. You got upset about a call. You argued to the to the point where y'all about y'all start fighting and shit. Not only did the argue escalates, someone pulls out a gun. Come on, man. He rushed to the hospital where he died. A key to leave, a first round draft pick, spent more than a decade in the NFL as a top cornerback. After retiring, recently announced as an analyst for Amazon's Thursday night football broadcasts in a statement to ABC News. So, brother, I keep to leave, bro. You're an analyst. You're an analyst. You're an analyst for Thursday night football, bro. You got a platform. You out there fighting at a youth game. Man, we got to do better, man. His attorney saying his client, quote, is very distraught and devastated over the terrible loss of life. Adding, I believe once all the witnesses are interviewed, there will be a different perspective as to what happened. His brother, Yakub, now charged with murder. Hickman is being remembered as a devoted Michael father Hickman. and grandfather. And his eldest daughter released a statement overnight saying Lost that everyone life. should strive for success in his memory. And she also said, God bless the soul of the man accused of killing her dad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my, thank you so much, Marcus. So yeah, man, it was a youth football game. It was a fourth and it was a fourth and seven, a fourth and seven. Um, a team, a, a key to Leeb's team came up short. They gained like five yards. They were short. They went down there arguing with the refs and arguing about the, the shit. The game was over. The kids supposed to meet at the fifty yard line, and um, the kids met at the fifty yard line. One of the coaches, the coach that got shot, Michael Hickman, he went to go grab his son's football. He, yeah, his son was there. He went to go grab his son's football. Somebody kicked it. That started off the whole shit. So from there, it escalated to a fight, a brawl, to a, a murder, a shooting. We we got to do better, people. We got to do better, man. Like, it's like we hate each other. Like, okay, so for one, we there for the, we there for the children. It's a youth football game. And it's like... It's too much ego, too much, um, too much pride. Y'all lost, y'all lost. Get on with the game, man. Let that man go home to his family. That man can't go home to his family ever again, bro. So, yeah, man. Under the evening, man, a youth football game with an ex-NFL star, uh, Akeem Tlaib, involved in a murder. And uh, his whole career has been uh, controversial. He's been in some bullshit in the NFL, too. I can kind of tell his character. He kind of with the shit. You know what I'm saying? They say you could take the you could take the nigga out the ghetto or the nigga out the hood, but you can't take the hood out the nigga. And Akeem Tlaib is just a hood ghetto um, nigga. He's a nigga. Uh, you know what I mean? And and I hate to say it like that, man. Um, ignorant. You know that shit, bro. You a NF, you a NF, you've been in the NFL. You're retired, bro. Why you out in the, Why you fighting? That man didn't put his hands on you.
That man didn't um, hurt you or, or disrespect you or your family and call you out your name. I, I mean, I'm not 100% sure that that man didn't do it, but I'm pretty sure that that could have been prevented. Like, we got to do better, folks. We got to do better, man. We can't be at no youth football game and a, and a, and a, and a black man lose his life over a, over a game. Over, over, you know? Under the motherfucking evening, man. Shit. Under the motherfucking evening.